Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and today I'm sharing with you the October calendar. Uh, I generally have been using this calendar for a couple of years now and year on year, month on month, I try and make um, a daily routine that I can follow with Vivan. Uh, this is not exactly we do every day. I mean, there are days when we do something else altogether or we skip it totally. But um, I'm just going to give you an overview exactly how we've done. And I'm going to link up the other videos also that I've uh, where I've shared my calendars for Vivan. Um, OK, so like this is for October 2019 and it's a pretty big planner. And I try and use a pen and an, um, all different colors. Um, and I try and use all different kinds of stuff that we can do. However, uh, now this is more academics driven and where we have our classes. But all the other things that we do, I try and keep them handy always. Okay, so going forward, like if you see, uh, you have uh, your edition practice, homework, reading, uh, dribbling his ball and then spelling. Then in going forward, you have subtraction, homework, reading, playing and spelling. And playing here is like we're going to play a game uh, which is uh, going to be either with numbers or with alphabets or like with noun or something like that. Uh, then Friday again we like Thursday add up to two ways, add up to 10 for two ways, energy project. That's something that's a project that we did. Uh, homework, reading and states and then finally you'll have um, like dribble dribble, you have maths, you have karate, you have multiplication box, you have Spanish counting. Then we did another project called the force project. We somewhere have swimming in between. So wherever we have classes, we have two days of karate, one day of swimming. And um, then we have two Mondays where we had our nature walk. And then Saturdays, we have a three hour class, which is our enrichment program that we go for. And rest two or three days, we are free. So he tries and plays after school for an hour. And then um, I try that after he comes back home, we finish his homework. We do the reading, the first four important thing. And whatever time is left then we pick up the stuff that is uh, that i have assigned in here there are days when we totally skip it when we don't have time and we've got late or we have a festival or something like that um and that's how we do. like yesterday was a halloween day we didn't do anything and then like for this thing we had a swimming class and then we had um, we did our homework and we were halloween ready because we're going hosting but we did writing so like yesterday i did not put writing here but we did do writing we did do writing here on 29th too so um the the curriculum that i'm going to follow here i try and use the same topics and i try and replicate them on the calendar on the daily basis so it just gives me a better view of the things that i'm doing and then at the same time all our activity books that i'm creating they go they go hand in hand and we try and do that simultaneously so guys what you can do the best way to do it is you first jot down the things that you want to do with your kids along with the games along with the reading or with the homework that you do and then post that you can start making or you can write on a piece of paper just write the days and the dates and then you can write things that you want to focus and i think it's just easy and approachable when you're able to do it uh when you can see and like you can refer to what you guys did yesterday what you're going today and now i'm going to doing the same thing for november which is today i'm going to be making today just right now after this my november calendar um it's it's empty right now i'm going to start building up today and it's going to be ready so we'll be following and whatever is left i'm going to carry forward here so yes that's it guys i hope this was interesting and this was easy for you to like figure out how to like write and like refer to the activities that you guys want to do it with your kids back home uh if you have any more questions do let me know guys uh thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe uh if you have your friends and family whom you think this video is um useful and if you think my channel is useful to them please be please share it with them i'll be very happy if you would do that thanks so much guys see you next time